everybody. Today we're going to be talking about good hygiene. Good hygiene. So, hygiene means to keep ourselves clean. And we have to do that every day. Keeping our body neat and clean is practicing good hygiene. So, good hygiene is keeping yourself neat and clean. And we're going to have a look at why that's very important. So, good hygiene means, what's this boy here doing? He's showering. You have to shower every day. Shower every day. Let's spell shower. S-H-O-W-E-R. Shower. Why is it important to shower every day? Well, if we don't shower, we are smelly. <laughs> Plus, it's fun to shower. Look how happy the boy is. <laughs> okay, what's next? What is this boy doing? He is brushing his teeth. You have to brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Let's spell brush. B U R. Hmm? No teacher Dave. B R U S H. B R A S H. Brush. Brush your teeth. Let's spell teeth. T E E T H. T E E T E Teeth. Brush your teeth. <laughs> so, how many times should you brush your teeth every day? Well, you should brush your teeth two or three times a day. After each time you eat, you should brush your teeth in the morning after breakfast. You should Brush your teeth in the afternoon, after lunchtime. <laughs> you should brush your teeth in the evening, after dinner. It's important to brush your teeth. Next, you have to cut your fingernails. Remember we were talking about our fingernails? You have to cut your fingernails. Now, for some of you, your mummy or daddy might cut your fingernails for you so that you don't get hurt. Let's spell cut. C-U-T. C-U-T. Cut your fingernails. Next, we have to brush your hair. Brush your hair. Oh, look, that's the brush word again. We brush our teeth and we brush our hair. It's important to brush our hair so that we look neat and tidy and to help keep our hair clean and not get tangled. We take a bath or shower every day. We wash our hair every day. Bathing removes, that means takes away, the unpleasant smell. 
unpleasant smell, that means bad smell, caused by sweat. Sweat is the water that comes out your skin when you're too hot. Bathing makes us clean. Bathing makes us clean. That boy is nice and clean after his shower. When we bathe, we should wash our body thoroughly. Thoroughly. Thoroughly means very well. We should wash our body very well and make sure we wash all the bits. <laughs> So this boy, he's washing his body very well. In the next picture, we should clean our armpits. Armpits. Armpit is the bit under your arm, which can get very smelly. <laughs> and our ears. This boy is cleaning behind his ears. Lots of sweat and grease, yucky stuff can get stuck behind your ears. So clean behind your ears when you shower. Be careful not to get water in your ear when you are showering. Don't put water in your ear. That's very bad for you. After bathing, we put on clean clothes. Look, they've got lovely clean clothes on. We should wear clean clothes. Let's spell clean. C-L-E-A-N. Clean. Clean is the opposite of dirty. E-A makes the E sound in clean. Why must we keep our body clean every day? If we do not keep our body clean, we will look, smell and feel dirty. So this girl has not kept her body clean and she looks dirty and she smells bad. <laughs> Other people might not want to be near us if we are dirty. So dirty is the opposite of clean. This boy is dirty and the other children don't want to be near him. Don't wear dirty clothes. Don't wear dirty clothes. Let's spell dirty. D-I-R-T-Y. D-E-R-T-E. Dirty. Okay, guys, that's our last hygiene tip. So, make sure you keep yourself clean with good hygiene, and I'll see you next week.